Hi, I'm Andrew Goodall from Nature's Image Photography and in this video I'm going to tell you how I took this photograph of Nelson Falls in Tasmania. To begin with, the photo was taken on a cloudy day. Now that's important because cloudy conditions give you nice low contrast light. When it's sunny you get little patches of sunlight breaking through and producing a contrast problem where half your photo is overexposed and half the photo is underexposed. When it's cloudy you get a nice even exposure throughout. Next I used a tripod. Remember it's a pretty dark location and the cloudy sky makes things even darker. So I know my shutter speeds are going to be slow and I need the tripod at the very least just to eliminate camera shake. Beyond that the tripod gives me the option to choose even slower shutter speeds if I want to which will become relevant in a moment. I don't use image stabilization or on some cameras it's called vibration reduction much anyway. But if you do, you want to make sure it's switched off when working with a tripod. Your image stabilizer is designed to correct a certain amount of camera shake, but if the camera's all locked up on a tripod, the image stabilizer can actually start to cause the very problem you're trying to prevent. I use my wide angle lens for this shot. I have a 12 to 24 mm, and in this case it was zoomed to about 15 mm, so not as wide as I can go, but still pretty wide. The wide angle takes in plenty of scope, so I can fit in not just the waterfall, but the stream in the foreground, and plenty of the surrounding rainforest. The wide angle also makes the background appear further away, and adds extra impact to the foreground, and that creates a nice leading line effect with the stream leading the eye into the waterfall. I've also used my circular polarizing filter for this shot. The polarizer cuts down the reflection from wet surfaces and shiny leaves, so it gives a richer color throughout the image, which is still the natural colour of the rainforest, just minus all the reflections. Now on to the camera settings. I shot this photo at 200 ISO, which is the ISO setting I like to use for most of my photography. Because I'm using a tripod, I can pretty much use any shutter speed I want, so there's really no need to increase the ISO. I tried this waterfall at a bunch of different shutter speeds, but this shot was taken at a 5 second exposure. That's what gives the water that smooth, silky look. With such a slow shutter speed, the photo would have been overexposed if I didn't do something to reduce the light. That's why I set my aperture to f20. The smaller aperture cuts down the exposure and counteracts the impact of the extremely slow shutter speed. And there you have it. There's the short and very simple story of how this photo was taken. There'll be plenty more videos like this one to come, so while you are here, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you can see each new video as they come online. I'm Andrew Goodall of Nature's Image Photography. Thanks for watching.